Hi guys, it's Phil and welcome back to Fleeting.com. So, we're a couple of weeks into the Premier League season and we've seen most teams' kits both on and off the pitch. Some of them have been really good and others we probably want to forget about. Steven's already talked about those, he's already done the five worst kits of the Premier League season, but today is all about the best kits. So I've got the pleasure and the privilege of counting up from five to one my favourite kits in the Premier League this year. And don't forget, if you're new to Fruity.com, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's get to it. So in at number five, it's a team which I think we all feel like we know a little bit more, thanks to a certain Amazon documentary. That's right, it's City's Away shirt. Not the one over here, although it's not a bad shirt. But the City's Away shirt in particular is one of my favourites. So it's one thing to reference an old kit, which a lot of people do. And of course, this is referencing the 98-99 shirt, the very classic City shirt now. Uh, but Nike have actually done something better and that's just use it as an inspiration. So I love the creativity. I love that they've kept the colours, that green and blue, in the pinstripes, it's really classy. This makes a really memorable kit and I think it's fitting uh, for a team like City to have a great show like this. So a really strong entry at number five. And in at number four, we've got West Ham's away shirt. I love what Umbro are doing this year. They're back in a big way. And this is my favourite shirt of theirs. You know, West Ham have got a great set of kits. This particular shirt is my favourite. Just that dark teal colour, the monochrome badge, you know, the cuffs and how subtle they are. It's just a lovely shirt. And, you know, it's not referencing an old kit or anything like that. It's just a really nice shirt. And so far this season, the shirt in many ways is outshining West Ham's performances. Hopefully, they do rise to the level of it because this is one of the better shirts this year. And in at number three is Fulham's home shirt. Now, Fulham, of course, just got promoted and they're a worthy addition to the league with a shirt like this, which I absolutely love. For me, it's a bit like if you look at the Fulham crest, it feels like an extension of that onto the shirt. Very simple, very clean. You've got a strong black band across the front, uh, but it looks great. The sponsor is integrated perfectly. It does call back to some of Adidas's 90s designs, where again, it was all about those lines and the blocks of color. But it's great, you know, white and black is a timeless color. And this is the kind of kit that fans can be proud of. We've got a great look that has no distractions or gimmicks. It's traditional and modern at the same time. It's really strong stuff from Adidas. More of the same, please. And now narrowly missing out on the top prize, in at number two, is Burnley's Away shirt. Now, black is a fantastic colour to start. But what I love about this is the design. It's a unique look again. Puma did some great shirts in the late 90s with hexagons and they brought that look for Burnley. But it's just fantastic and again, a great thing that shirts, you know, good shirts do well is integrating sponsors and crests, and that's what we've got. It's black and silver, nothing else. You know, it's a betting sponsor, which actually looks good. I didn't think anyone could do it, but Puma have. And I love the look. We've got a gradient look as well. There's a lot of things going on, but because of the colors and because of the simplicity and execution of it, it looks fantastic. Burnley did great things last year, and this shirt, hopefully we'll see it in Europe this year, which would be great. You know, it's just good to see. Again, creativity from a brand and something which has not been seen before. So credit to Puma, credit to Burnley. This is a great shirt, one of the best this year. So we've seen some great shirts, but now it's time for my favourite. Newcastle fans have had a lot to complain about this year, but there's no reason to complain about their away shirt. That's right, the Newcastle away shirt is my favourite of the Premier League. Now, again, we've got an old shirt that's referenced. It's the 95-96 classic. And that shirt is probably one of the most iconic in Premier League history. But what I love about this design from Puma is again, it's not just a remake, it's a fresh design. And there's all the details they get right. For a start, the sponsor sits perfectly in the band. You know, we've talked about other shirts like Liverpool's third shirt, where the sponsor is just all over the place. But this is perfectly placed. And it's in a lovely all gold, which matches the Puma logo and the crest. And just that maroon and blue colourway, it's superb. It carries around the back, again, something a lot of teams don't do. I just love it, just the details, just the look of the sleeves, how they fit on the shirt. It's just, it's just really classy and it's timeless. And I think, you know, for Newcastle, again, um, you know, there's been a few problems there, but their kits this year, particularly their away shirt, just looks superb. It's an instantly memorable design and it's a fitting tribute for one of the best Premier League shirts of all time. Anyway guys, that's been my top five, but it was really hard to pick just a few shirts. So let me know in the comments what your favorites are. And until next time, I've been Phil, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.